Southern Country Living and today I'm making a fiesta chicken casserole and it's basically basically the same thing as a chicken uh, casserole but it just has a fiesta twist to it and uh, I'll be using corn this right here is black beans I'll be using a taco seasoning mix and uh, two cups of this uh, rotini pasta I'll be using um, cheese salsa and this right here is sour cream and then my seasonings is uh, cumin and it's garlic powder and onion powder and so uh, over here I have my uh, chicken cooking and so uh, when it gets through in about 14 minutes I'm going to shred it and then I'll be back Do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile? Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on, I put my feet up, and we just sing along, and I can't help but feeling just loving. Cooking for 14 minutes. So now I'm going to shred it. I watch you as you sleep. You don't know I'm looking. With you, everything is complete. Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on just to wake you up. When I dance around, I can't help but feeling just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here together? If I could stop. Cause I'm just loving this moment 
All right, I have my um, chicken shredded up now, and so I'm gonna um, wash my hands and clean up my area, and uh, then I'm gonna be putting my rotini uh, pasta in uh, my uh, boiler, and then I'm gonna come back and mix up the rest of my ingredients for my casserole. All right, I have my pasta over here um, boiling, and it lasts about seven minutes, so I'm gonna mix up my other ingredients. So I'm going to be adding a cup of salsa. A cup of sour cream. kitchen uh, scarf that one of my subscribers um, made me. And now then I'm going to put in my spices. And uh, this recipe will be in the description. This recipe will be in the description below. Now then I'm going to be adding in my taco seasoning package. And stir all this together. All of those spices are hitting my senses at once. <laughs> Today it's beautiful here in Georgia, but We'll probably have thunderstorms in the evening. That's usually the way it is. <laughs> it's going to probably be up to around 90 degrees today. So I won't be out very much this evening. So I'm going to cook this casserole and get it ready and It'll be for our dinner meal tonight. Okay. All right, I got that all stirred up now. And my pasta likes about a few more minutes. And so when it gets through cooking, I'll be back. Pasta is cooked now, so I'm adding it into uh, all of my seasonings. Just stirring it up really good. My goodness, Marie, I like how that looks. Yeah, you can smell that it is a fiesta blend. I like it. Okay, so now I'm going to add in my two cups of chicken. My rinsed black beans. A can of corn. and a cup of cheese.
like anything that has a Mexican twist to it. baking dish. You can serve this with your favorite sides, but I think I'm just going to serve mine today with, uh, I was thinking about uh, serving it with some corn on the cob but it has some corn in it, so I might just serve it with a, a salad. Okay. All right. So, now then I'm gonna put uh, the rest of this cheese on top. And I'm going to cook it for uh, about 20 minutes and then I'm going to take off all the aluminum foil and cook it for five more minutes and I'm going to be cooking it at 350. But in my pan I'm going to be cooking it at 325 since it's a glass uh, dish. Cheese always makes everything better. <laughs> Sorry about the rattling. <laughs> I should have poured this in a bow first. <laughs> Hard to remember everything when you're doing your videos. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, I'm gonna cover this and I'll let it cook for 20 minutes. There we go. <laughs> mm, does it smell really amazing? and hot, that's for sure. It just came out of the oven, so I'm going to let it cool for about 10 minutes before I serve it. Okay, my Fiesta chicken casserole is uh, came out of the oven and it's been cooling for a little while, so now I'm fixing to do my uh, favorite part the taste test. <laughs> okay. And um, over here, I have some salsa, some green onions. Bring it out over here. Um, some sour cream and some taco salt. And um, you can put all these toppings on or you don't have to put any of them on but I think I'm going to put all of them on mine <laughs> but now Calvin I don't think he'll want some of them <laughs> but I'm going to fix up the way I would eat it if I was making it for myself but I'm going to taste of it first without any of the toppings really good. It does have that Fiesta uh, twist to it. So I'm going to add me some uh, toppings to it. Marie, it looked like it might have been still too hot, was it? No, it was okay. fine. Good. Put me on some tomatoes. I decided not to make a salad because um, 
I was going to put all these toppings on it. And that's almost like a salad. <laughs> Salsa on it. And I also got me some avocado. I know Kevin don't want avocado. <laughs> so I'm gonna put me a few pieces of avocado on mine. little bit of taco salt. And uh, so now then I'm going to take a taste test with the toppings on it. <laughs> This is the way I like mine. Okay, I really liked mine better with the toppings on it than just plain. But Calvin, he probably won't put any of these toppings on it except maybe a little bit of salsa. <laughs> so, um, y'all, this uh, casserole was really good and I think if you make, make it, you'll really enjoy it. So, y'all, do what you love and love what you do. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Have you heard the fairies when they sing and dance? Oh, I wish it was me.